What's up, Fake Fan? Welcome back to the Fake Hill YouTube channel. And today, I am going to be doing a box break of a WWE Heritage 2016 trading card box. Um, this is a sealed box. I don't believe this is a hobby box. I believe it's just a regular retail box. Um, so I don't know what kind of inserts could possibly be in here. Um, I'm still new to the card game, so I wanted to... I mostly wanted to buy it so I could check it out for myself. I've read online about certain things that the, it's harder to find autographs and such in these, and that's fine. Um, but I wanted to check it out and see what actually comes in. I'm very big on seeing, overhearing. Um, so the box has WWE Heritage, which, as you know, are my favorite type of cards. They have been since uh, when they first came out in 2005, I believe. Um, it's got Roman, Brock, Cena... Dean Ambrose, Andre on one side, Austin, Ric Flair, Booker T on another, Bailey, Charlotte, Sasha, and Becky. And it's got Macho Man, Sting, and the Ultimate Warrior. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up the box. And we will display it like we're in a store. So the lip of this says, look for NXT and WWE superstar autographs and event use relics. May contain redemption cards with expiration dates. All right. So we're going to put this back here. And uh, yeah, let's check it out. So it's got 24 packs of nine cards. And this is what the cover looks like. It's got Andre, Cena, and Rock on it. Look for Rock tribute cards. Let's get right into it. Honky Tonk Man, love this design. Um, I forget what it's based off of, what year it's based off of. Honky Tonk Man. Daniel Bryan. Nikki Bella. My man Enzo Amore, Jersey guy, AJ, Galisto. This is a pretty cool card. WCW Ultimate Warrior. And here we have record breaker Brock Lesnar, the youngest WWE champion. And turn back the clock, wacky superstars. So this is like a play on, um, man, I forget what card series this was but i remember and they would ha it would have like pictures like this and they would have like silly little bubbles that said stuff and there's my shadow puppet of a one-eared rabbit that they're so dumb but i mean that's the point <laughs> very cool though love these cards Trips, Carl Anderson, Dean Ambrose, aka John Moxley. That's pretty cool. Braun Strowman. We had the long hair. John Cena. Rowdy Rowdy Piper. Record breaker. Nikki Bella. Longest Divas champion reign. Turn back the clock. Gold Series Hacksaw Jim Duggan, 1992. It says it right on there, sorry. 1993 for the slaughter. I missed it. Um, after this, I'll show you how I display my cards. Well, not display, how I store my cards. And uh, let's see. Gallows, Brie Bella, Summer Ray. Summer Ray was still in 2016. Alundra Blaze, The Man, Jim the Anvil Neidhart, The Iron Sheik, 
Wow, you don't see Big Bubba Rogers getting cards very often. You usually see Big Boss, that's pretty cool. Here we have Edge, the most world heavyweight championship reigns, and Texas Tornado, 1991. Pretty cool. These are my favorite cards that um, Topps produces because they're very nostalgic to me. They bring you back to being a kid and, and having these uh, baseball cards. So let's see. Kane, Stinger, Charlotte, Aiden English, Simon Gotch. Here's an old school DDP. Rick Rude, record breaker. John Cena with the most WWE championship reigns. And the turn back the clock is a 1993 Tatanka. I'm guessing the turn back the clocks and the record breakers are inserts, like an insert series. Um, let's dig in to the middle. Let's see what we got. The Ultimate Warrior. Rosa Mendez. Eva Marie. Seth Rollins. Randy Orton. Love these card designs, by the way. Kofi. Flying Brian Pillman. Record Breaker. Triple H, the longest combined World Heavyweight Championship reigns. And in 1992, turn back the clock, Big Boss Man. Lex, the Dragon, Scott Hall, Paige, Mandy Rose Rookie Card, Sheamus, that was a pretty cool one, Six, NWO All-Star, and we have Record Breaker, Triple H Longest Cumulative Time in Royal Rumble Matches, and to turn back the clock is Jake the Snake Roberts from 1992. We have Jimmy Uso, Eric Rowan, Brock, Alicia Fox, Tamina, Hideo Itami, Booker T, NWO All-Star. Big Boss made the longest hardcore championship reign. And turn back the clock, Shawn Michaels in 1995. I don't think these are real cards that they're based off of. If they are, I do not remember that design. Road Dog, Miss Elizabeth. Xavier Woods, Sin Cara, Neville, Y2J, the giant NWO All-Star, Record Breaker, Dudley Boys, the most world tag team championship reigns by a team, and a 1995 turn back of Brett the Hitman Hart. Again, I'm not too concerned about getting relics or autographs. I just love the cards and I love the, the fun of opening them up. If I was to get special cards, that's cool. But, you know. Sasha. Erwin R. Scheister. Rikishi. Tatanka. Bubba Ray Dudley. We've got what's this? Dean Malenko, and this one has a finally The Rock comes back to WWE. It's got a Rock tribute card. There's 40 Rock tribute cards. So there's one of them. So that's an insert right there. That's pretty cool. Um, Harlem Heat and another Tatanka. 1993 Turn Back the Clack.
Haven't seen any doubles yet. We've got Big E, Naomi, Ted DiBiase, Eve Torres, legend, uh, Nia Jax, Baron Corbin rookie card. We've got, wow, not the Nasty Boys. It's just Jerry Sags. That's pretty cool. Record breaker, Kane, the most Royal Rumble match entries. And in 1992, Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Goldie, Roman Reigns, Rebecca Lynch, Apollo Crews rookie card, Samoa Joe, my man Eddie Guerrero, we've got British Bulldog WCW All-Star, we've got record breaker, the most United States Championship reigns, Ric Flair, and another Jake the Snake Roberts 1991, Turn Back the Clock. One of my favorite things about cards is after I open a box, like organizing them and putting them in order. It's not just about opening. Like, I just think the whole process of collecting cards is fun. The American Dream, Dusty Rhodes, Edge, Lita, a lot of legends in this one. Rowdy Roddy Piper. WCW All-Star Arn Anderson. Another Rock Tribute card. Pretty cool. Rock Bottoms. John Cena at WrestleMania 27. This is all legends in this one. Record Breaker. And I guess these are real cards because I remember having this Andre the Giant uh, 1987 card. So I guess the other ones are real cards. They're pretty badass. I kind of want them. This is going to send me down a rabbit hole. I can already feel it. So we got the man, Rick Rude. Ron Sibbins and Trunks. Finn Balor. Taker. Rusev. One of my favorites, Luke Harper. Now Brody Lee. Shawn Michaels, Finn Balor, longest NXT championship reign, and a 1985 Iron Sheik. I like the turn back the clock idea now that I know that they are actual card designs because I remember that design as well. Um, good touch to the Heritage Series. So far, I don't think we have any duplicates, which is a pretty cool thing, and I spoke too soon because here we have Luke Gallows, Brie Bella, Summer Rae, Alundra Blaze, Jim Neville Neidhart, pretty much all of these are duplicates. Macho Man, oh, I think this is a 40 out of 99 insert card. Pretty cool. Um, Kane and Ricky Steamboat. I have that original card as well, 1987. Maybe I'll show that in, in the second part of the video. Dolph, Alberto Del Rio, Bailey, finally got Andre, Bruno, I was there for that, uh, Mr. Perfect, Bret Hart, NWO, Record Breaker, Bruno Sammartino, longest WWE Championship reign, and a 1993 Undertaker. These ugly card designs, if that was real. Do not remember that card set, but... We've got Y2J again, Big E again, Naomi again, Ted DiBiase, Eve, Nia Jax. That's pretty cool. Mr. Wall Street. It's a cool card. Bray Wyatt's daddy. Hunky Tonk Man, longest intercontinental championship reign. And turn back the clock, British Bulldog from 1995. We got a Rob Van Dam, Trish, Tyson Kidd, The Rock, Kevin Owens, 
Jack Swagger, NWO, Miss Elizabeth. Most NXT Tag Team Championship reigns by individual superstar, Neville. And we got the Ricky Steamboat 1987 card again. Getting down to the nitty gritty. My man, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Sensational Sherry. We got we finished off the Dudley Boys. We got Devon. Jay Uso. Carmella. Bret Hart. Hacksaw. Jericho. Bulldog again. Bray Wyatt, Ryder, Colin Cassidy, rookie card, um, Bam Bam, Jake Roberts, oh, got another Rocky, let's see, we got Terry Funk, and defeat Stone Cold Steve Austin at WrestleMania 19, the Rock Tribute. We've got Roman Reigns, most eliminations in a single Royal Rumble match. And turn back the clock, Rowdy Rowdy Piper, 1992 card. Here we have Baron Corbin, Rikishi, Sasha Banks, IRS, Tatanka, Bubba Ray, Stevie Ray, Shortest WWE Championship reign, Andre the Giant, and the Turn Back the Clock, 1993. Sergeant Slaughter. All right, we got Goldie, Roman, Becky, Apollo, Samoa Joe, Eddie Guerrero. Captain's Team WWE to Victory Over the Alliance, Rock Tribute, Bret Hart, and the Texas Tornado again. All right, we got one, two, three cards left, three card packs left. We've got Iron Sheiky, Road Dog, Miss Elizabeth. Xavier Woods, Sin Cara, Neville, Trillionaire, Ted DiBiase, Undertaker, Most WrestleMania Wins, and the Rowdy Rowdy Piper, 1992 again. Come on, give us something cool. I don't think we got Cesaro yet. Cesaro, Big Show, Asuka, Sami Zayn, British Bulldog, Big Kev, this is a cool one, Larry Zabisco, Record Breaker, Longest United States Championship reign, and Turn Back the Clock, Macho Man Randy Savage. All right, guys, here's the final pack. Let's see what we got. All right, we've got Eddie. Macho Man, HBK, X-Pac, Angelo Dawkins, all new guys. Natalia, we got Steven Regal, Record Breaker, Most Royal Rumble Match Victories, and a Bret Hart 1995 turn back the clock. Wow. All right, so we got a lot of cards to sift through. We got basically... One insert, which was this Alicia Fox, the brown um, parallel. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put that in a penny sleeve is what I normally do for any parallels. It doesn't matter how valuable or numbered they are. And then I put that in a... Um, Top loader. Let's 
So there we go. We got Alicia Fox numbered to 99 in the top loader. Pretty cool. All right, so I'm going to put these things away, and I'll show you how I store them. All right, guys, so here's how I store my base cards. Um, this is all of my Heritage cards. I put them in a binder. Um, yes, there are top loader binders, but they're expensive and not really necessary for lower end cards like this, like base cards. Um, so I have Heritage 1, Heritage 1 Chrome. There's Heritage 3. And then here's the ones that we just did, 2016. So I put them all in a binder, and then I got 18 behind it, but let's see, let's start this bad boy over. So here is how I do the cards. This way I can actually look at them and enjoy them and be able to read them all together and just check out the whole design, which is what cards are for. You know, they're not just collectibles so I like to display my cards this way it's easy to look at fun to look at as opposed to having them all in top loaders um, I keep the top loaders for special cards um, so like these are my heritage relics that I have I have other ones too but these are just the heritage ones so I got Booker T and Christian Eddie and Ray Matt's um, Jericho shirt, I got HBK shirt, HBK shirt, Hogan shirt, Cena shirt. Um, but for things like, like there was a special edition cards, like this is a X Fractor, this is a Refractor. Um, says it somewhere on the bottom. There it is, Refractor. Same thing with Orndorff. Couple other ones that are refractors, but I got like the Allen and Ginter cards. I put them in top loaders. Um, anything that's more of a chase, autographs obviously go in top loaders. So, so yeah, that's how I do my collection. Um, it's cheaper to do it this way to get the, the pages, especially takes up less space too. As far as cards, um, I don't like them to take up too much space. I don't have much room for cards. You know what I mean? So, but yeah. So the heritage cards are my absolute favorite. This is how I display them. You know, it is what it is. Very, very simple. I think how it's how a lot of people display their cards. So I hope you guys like this uh, video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Fake Heel and at Unreleased Wrestling Figs. And don't forget to check out the new unreleased wrestling figure coloring books, volume one, two, and three, available now on Amazon, featuring Prime shipping. And uh, stay tuned for some more stuff to come. Going to be filming a lot with the uh, quarantine going on, which, by the way, if you hear water dripping, that's not my house, and that's not me taking a pee right now. That is actually the downpour rain outside in New Jersey. So, yeah. Hope you guys like this video. Have a good one. Peace. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, at FigHeel and at Unreleased Wrestling Figs. And check out my new Unreleased Wrestling Figure coloring book series available now on Amazon.com, including Prime Shipping.